Them eggs be scrambled today. Yeah, you like them scrambled. First thing in the morning. There she goes. Oh, today's looking so nice. Look at that skyline. Oh, just gorgeous. It's a beautiful day outside. Abby gets to ride the squeaky truck to work. Because I gotta head to get some fast food. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Zoom in on that. Oh yeah. Hi people, it is Friday. I'm gonna go try and cop some Adidas Ultra Boost A16. So I'm gonna get my girls ready, get them all loaded, and we'll head to some fast internet. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this. I got about one minute left. Got my girl sitting over in the chair right next to me. Well, one of them is tap dancing, kinda. No? Just standing there? All right, and can't get this page to load. Adidas.com is being really slow, so uh, I think I'm gonna reset the internet. So give me one second, I'll be back. All right, and we're back. No internet access currently. I'm waiting for that to refresh. And I hope I get some refreshed internet within 45 seconds, because that's how much time I have right now before this release happened, so I'm just waiting. And for some reason, it's just, oh, there it goes. For some reason this morning, it just wasn't connecting, and I was trying to like log into my account, because I think it'll be faster, although it probably doesn't matter that much, and I might not have enough time to log in anyways. But I got the adidas.com address going. Let's see, it's going there, but it's just, we're just waiting on adidas.com, it looks like. Maybe I'll get it, maybe not. It, time has already passed. I better just try and get it on my phone and make sure I turn Wi-Fi off because the Wi-Fi is not being very fast right now. And I've already got the shoe loaded. I got the Adidas app loaded here with the shoe that I want. We'll see here, yeah, adidas.com still just says waiting. So I'm gonna try on the app. Loading product. Doesn't look like the app is letting is letting me in. It just says out of stock. And it is the right day. Like today is the right day. But yeah, the Adidas site looks like it's just sort of crashing. Let me search that again. Yeah, the app just says out of stock. I could call Adidas. I guess I could try that. So I can just go into my phone and call Adidas.com. No, no, I don't want to message them. Come on. All right, we're gonna give it a shot. We'll just call them in. Call in the order. Thank you for calling Adidas America Consumer Relations. We are currently away from our desks and attending a meeting. Our business hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please try your call again later. Thank you. Wow, cool. <laughs> And so everybody's attending a meeting. They decided to release these sneakers on their website and their website is just totally crashed. All right, girls, what do you say? Should we go or should we stay and try? Stay a little longer? Go home? Yeah, blank stare. I'm a foster parent, me and Abby, my wife, uh, we decided to take in uh, foster kids and we're therapeutic foster parents. So that means we take like the more severe cases. And so we have a four-year-old and a one-year-old, and we're still working on teaching them some words and communication. Um, but they're getting there. At least they uh, quit the um, unstoppable crying. That was rough. When we first got him, like, I think they were just left to cry. And so I think they've gotten over that. They've sort of learned how to comfort themselves and be content and whatnot. And a lot of prayer, too. A lot of prayer. And a lot of people helping us to, to know the best thing to do in a lot of these rough situations that we find ourselves in with them. But yeah, we just want to be helping the world and we don't want to pretend like problems don't exist. We want to be someone who understands there's problems and we help to correct those problems in the best way we can. So there's a lot of homeless kids out there. Let's take care of them, people. That's what I'm doing. So I just got through. I decided to close Google Chrome and use Internet Explorer instead. And that was the secret. They still had a few sizes left. They had my size. I like click through the boxes to verify myself as a person and not a robot. And added to cart just fine. 
went through PayPal real fast, real quick, and they're on the way. So even if I don't get the Yeezys tomorrow, I got these on the way. I really think they're a cool sneaker. I like the way they look. I showed you guys some pictures yesterday. I'll show you guys some more pics here. All right, here we go. So this is the shoe. Pretty sick looking. Um, I like what they did with the knit. They put some blue and green in there. And yeah, so they're just a cool sneaker. And from far away, they just look like a black, white, and gray colorway. So it's cool when you get up close, you can see all that additional stuff in there. So sweet deal. And then tomorrow we'll be going after those frozen, semi-frozen Yeezys supposed to be super limited and my internet isn't the fastest here in montana i've got the fastest available but uh, you know and it's like business speed and all that but it's still probably not quite enough to get a lot of these drops um but it's all right hey maybe we'll get lucky maybe god will bless me with them and god always provides for me because i'm generous so god is generous back to me if you want to learn about that how to get rich by the power of god click on that video it might be linked below or click on my account Go to my videos and click it. Yeah, <laughs> thanks guys. See you in a bit. Yo, just got home from that drop and I saw that I had some packages that came in. Ooh, look at this. Oh man, I've been waiting for this. I cannot wait to break that open. Oh man, someone already broke it open. Look at that, there's a hole there. What happened here? Look at that, like busted open. Wow. Oh, another tear here? Oh my God. Well, at least it's like foam, so it doesn't really matter that much. But if there's scratches, maybe it's not scratched. Okay. And one other one. Cool deal. Well, let's go downstairs. I want to open these right now. All right. We're gonna break into this Everlast package first. And probably shouldn't use the knife. I don't wanna hurt anything, so we'll just get right into it. Looks like it's opening up pretty easily here. I feel like they put a piece of paper there so you wouldn't cut it up. Wow, I can smell this fresh rubber mat smell. Oh, oh, you can see the back. There's the front. Cool deal. Oh man. And I think. Oh wow, look at that. This is all just torn already, pretty much. So that's cool. Whatever. I guess the packaging didn't really stay together that well. <laughs> so cool. I'm just gonna. Take that off, okay. Take off the saddlebags, got any saddlebags. Got any saddlebags. And here it is, the mat, six foot. Not quite long enough for me, but uh, yeah. Oh man, it's so, can, I can probably get this, yeah. I can get this all in the shot. And it's pretty soft. Um, Cushioning here just like a standard mat like nothing really that special for the materials it's Just like a weatherproof or like a sweat proof material, I guess and then these straps if you want to take a close look at the straps. I mean They're just on there doesn't seem like it's really like a high-end material there just a durable sort of seatbelt type material it's not sewn together super tight, and then you just have this knitting. It goes all the way around, looks like it's double knitting, and it's not even like perfect, like, see how that knitting just sort of goes a little crazy, which is fine, like, and there's the Everlast. Looks like the Everlast is in sort of a silk material or a shiny material. It's not that thick. You can kind of see where it's folded over underneath. You can see like the red underneath the Everlast uh, logo there. And then this is just printed on with some, probably some pretty durable paint there. That's sweat proof or whatnot since it is an exercise mat. But yeah, there it is. 
Supreme mat, and uh, I'm gonna figure out how to hang this up and go with everything because this is a great addition to my backdrop. I might even change my location of where I film my ending because, uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna work on some stuff and I have another box to open, so stay tuned for this. This is like a $350 box right here and it weighs like nothing, so wait and see what this is. Some of you guys might already know, but a lot of you probably don't because most people are just finding out about my channel and they haven't seen most of my past videos. I'm like brand new YouTuber. I'm about to break out people. This is about to get big because we want people to know you can be yourself, you can have personality, and you can be a disciple of Jesus at the same exact time. See you in a second. Well, that was a fun way to spend the afternoon. Got the mat all set up and my shoes laid out in a totally different way. But I kind of like it, it's pretty cool, and I do have a lot more shoes coming in the mail, so keep up with the videos, and um, I'll be unboxing more heat. Uh, I have some Black Boost EQTs coming, so those will be cool, and um, another A16, I mean, you already saw me get that this morning. But anyways, I got this box in the mail, it is a $338 box or something like that, and it's cool. Some of you guys might be like, man, why did he get this? This is such a controversial item. But you know what? Like, this is my life, and I live under my convictions, you can live your convictions, and you know, God will have certain things you can do and certain things you can't do, so <laughs> we'll just stop there. Okay, so first off, we got our Supreme bag, another Supreme bag, some Supreme stickers, more Supreme stickers. I've got a lot of these now, which is pretty cool, and that's the box. And then inside of this Supreme bag, we have another tinier Supreme bag with another tinier Supreme item inside of there. Oh, whoops, just dropped it. We got this Supreme bag with another tiny Supreme bag inside of it. So we'll just get out the other tinier Supreme bag. And in this one, we have a tiny little pendant. Can you see that? Yeah. Very small little packaging here. Oh, and another bag even with another item in there, and looks like they didn't use the tape on that. It's okay, so this is 24, or 14 karat gold, actually. I was, it's not 24 karat gold. That'd be a little bit too soft, It'd wear out really fast. And this is 24, or 20, <laughs> 14 karat gold. This is 14 karat gold. A little tiny $100 bill. See if I can get it, it's really shiny. There we go. You kind of see it there? It has a little tiny Supreme, if you can read it. Yeah, it says Supreme on there. Yes, cool. So now I got my first piece of men's jewelry that uh, is a hype item. So I'll wait a few months, maybe years, and see what they're going for, and maybe I'll sell it if I need to, you know, if I'm in a bind or something and need some cash. But yeah, so cool. I'm glad to be able to pick up this little tiny Supreme jewelry. See how it looks there. Well, cool deal. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to this channel. I got more stuff coming and uh, hit that like button, that thumbs up to tell people that you're cool with me and whatnot. Thanks for caring about me and following me for all you people who've been with me for a little while. You know what, we all start somewhere and so I'll see where it takes me. I really just do this channel to show people that you can follow Jesus and be into all of this hype stuff that people are into. So come along with me, I'll live a hype beast lifestyle and I'll follow Jesus every single day and go out of my way to show people love and to show people generosity in every opportunity that I can. So let's go. And without further ado, let's go ahead and let's talk about the Bible. Let's get into the book of John chapter 3. And I really just have to stick with the most awesome verse, one of the most awesome verses that's in the Bible today. I'm going to stick with John chapter 3 verse 
16. That's right, you guessed it. And I'll read all the way to 18. I'm reading this out of the Message Bible, so it's a little bit different than maybe some of the other versions you guys have read in the past if you've heard this verse before. So let's get into it. This is how much God loved the world. He gave his son, his one and only son, and this is why, so that no one need be destroyed. By believing in him, anyone can have a whole and lasting life. God didn't go to all the trouble of sending his son merely to point out an accusing finger, telling the world how bad it was. He came to help, to put the world right again. Anyone who trusts in him is acquitted. Anyone who refuses to trust in him has long since been under the death sentence without knowing it. And why? Because of that person's failure to believe in the one-of-a-kind Son of God when introduced to him. God, he gave his one and only Son. God gave us everything, so why wouldn't he want to give us anything we might want or need for our life? So if you're believing God for something, believe that God wants you to have it. And if somebody else is believing for something and maybe you don't agree with what they're believing for, like, get out of that mindset. Let them believe for whatever it is they want God to give to them. And if they're following after Jesus and calling Jesus their Lord, living each day under his submission, I don't see why God wouldn't give them the desires of their heart. Jesus really did come down this earth. He really did die for our sins. And three days later, he really did rise from the dead. He's the only one who ever overcame the grave. So you can believe in him and know that he is the one and only true God. There are not multiple ways to heaven. There's just one way to heaven and it's believing in Jesus and choosing to live a life where he is your Lord, where you go out of your way to love people. You go out of your way to be generous to people and you still have your personality. You're still yourself. You reach people based on how you are and how your brain ticks. So hopefully that's encouraging for you guys out there today. Thanks so much for keeping up with me. And if I haven't said it enough, I love you, I care about you, I want the very best for you, and I want you to be yourself. So be ready for what God wants to do through you, and I know he's got a great plan for your life, and he's ready for you to come on board and start following that plan that he wants you to live. So that's all the time I got for you today. Remember, God made you special, and he loves you very much. This is me, Stephen Long. Peace out.